where are we? We look like we're in some poor place right now. Masai Village, huh? That sounds like, uh, Kenya, maybe? Well, it's somewhere in Africa, at least. Let's go see, uh, is it Kenya, is it Nairobi, yes it is, let's go see, is Yoshi here? Damn straight Yoshi's here, and he's gonna help us. Yeah, turn on the map, stupid. Hey, shut up. Hey, quit telling yourself to shut up. You know what, I'll tell myself to shut up whenever I want to. Because I'm in Kenya and I can do whatever the hell I want. Actually, Kenya looks like looks a lot nicer than I thought it would. How did you think it would look? I don't know, maybe not as nice as this. Well, uh, what do you mean? Well, look, the roads, I guess, are a little bit drab and they look like they're made of dirt or something, but, uh, there's not a lot of pollution, people look like they have pretty nice houses to live in. You know, this is just a video game, right? It's not completely accurate of what Nairobi really looks like. So what does Nairobi really look like? I don't know, I've never been there. Well, maybe someday. Cracker Factory! Cracker Factory! Cracker Factory! That's where they make animal crackers! Come on! Well, I guess I'm gonna go have to get me some authentic Kenyan Nairobi animal crackers now. Do they make animal crackers in Kenya? How the hell should I know? I just know I want some. Is the water in Kenya safe to drink? I don't know, but we just got another loot bag. Hey, we got a skull. Sweet. I don't want to carry around a human skull. Well, come on. Why not? It'll be fun. No, it won't be fun. It'll be tragic. Leftover birthday cake. Totally way old, dude. Aw, uh, we need to get our facts straight and come back later while Princess Toad's still paints her nails again. Alright, good thing I saw that, uh, explosion there, else I would have picked up that hat thingy. Hey, we should put the hat thingy on the skull until we can return it. Yeah, that'd be a pretty cool idea. We should return the skull with the hat on it. Alright, now I know the information for this. Yeah, three million years old and we return the ugly skull to the museum. Alright, where we return the straw hat that we were carefully shielding the skull in. Yeah, what if Luigi falls off the Yoshi and all the artifacts get broken? I don't know. Ochre plants! No, ochre paste! Yay, we finished Kenya in record time! I hope we go somewhere nice again next time! China, or Japan, or Korea, I don't know. Wow, those houses look pretty depressing right there. They look more like kiosks to me. And hey, we got a brick, what does that do? Alright, looks like we have a pagoda here, so... So what? So, buttons, that's what. Hey lady, 
where the hell am I? Alright, we are in Beijing, China. Hey, you know that Beijing means northern capital in Chinese? No, I didn't. That's fascinating. Is this music really Chinese? Yeah, it's the one schwa schwa remix of the Mario theme. Hey, how come we have the same people walking around each of these cities? I mean, are they following us or are they members of Bowser's Koopa Troop? I don't know, maybe they are. Maybe Bowser has some spies on the inside. Yeah, but the people are helping us out, so why would they be doing that if they're spies for Bowser? Well, maybe they just aren't happy with their jobs and what Bowser's paying them, so they're secret double agents for us. That's what's happening. But what if they're just making it look that way and trying to help us, but really they're helping Bowser and luring us into his trap? Well, maybe it looks that way, or maybe they're just trying to look like they're helping us but really they're help they're guiding us into Bowser's trap, but really, really, they're actually helping us somehow. So they're double backwards secret super agents for us. Uh yeah, so uh it took about three hundred men to build the Great Wall of China and that's all it took, yes. Why a brick from the Great Wall of China is such a big loss? I mean, just get some mud and make a new brick. Well, come on, every brick in the Great Wall of China is precious. You can't just have one replaced. Yeah, but what if the bricks, you know, fade away because of environmental damage or wind or rain or whatever? Well, then you let the wall fall away. Besides, the Mongols aren't a threat anymore. Who needs the Great Wall anymore? Yeah, but what if the Forbidden City? Well, it's not so forbidden anymore now that they've lost one of their artifacts. Ha <laughs> ha Sure, ask away. Uh, the Emperor's new clothes. Taboo Town! Awesome, let's go to Taboo Town in China, that sounds cool. What the hell could Taboo Town be with the Chinese government in place? I don't know, maybe where, that's where they gather to look at Google.com and stuff like that, that you can't see in China. You can see Google in China, it's just you can't go to some pages. What, have you ever been to China so you know that as a fact? Well, no, I'm just guessing. I mean, give me a break here. Maybe if you were t paying a little bit more attention, we wouldn't have got that question wrong. What's the matter with you? It's made without air conditioning. I mean, come on, that's true. Without air conditioning. Well, I think that's a little bit common sense. I mean, it was made a long time ago. They didn't have air conditioning back then. Oops, I went down the wrong pipe. Let's go down the blue one, stupid! What are you, colorblind? You can't tell blue from green. Uh, no, I actually can't. Thanks a lot for bringing it up. Gee, sorry, you don't have to be so defensive about it. Alright, looks like we're in a European town. Narrow and his fiddle, that must mean we are in Japan! Uh, Italy, dummy. Let's send Yoshi up here. Hey, I'm gonna get me some Yoshi spaghetti and we're gonna have some rigatoni. Aw, uh, there's more cities in Europe. I thought that was it. Stupid map lied to me. Yeah, well, you know, Europe 
gets all the preferential treatment, you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. What are you talking about? Well, you know, because there's so many countries in Europe, everyone gets represented, like, the Soccer World Cup, not that I care, but there's a million teams from Europe, and then, like, two from Asia and America and stuff like that. Well, soccer's really popular in Europe. It's not really popular in America. Yeah, but what about South America? They like soccer. Yeah, but they get a million teams in the World Cup anyway. Well, but, well what about North America? Like, the United States has 300-some million people, yet they only get one team? What's the deal with that? Yeah, maybe in the Olympics that might be true, because you have a bunch of other countries that have to take up spots. Yeah, and like, China has a billion people, but they only get one team? That's ridiculous. They have, like, three times as many people as Europe does. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but... maybe. Alright, Sistine Chapel! Where are the other 15? Woo! It's underground, baby! Let's go to the underground Sistine Chapel! Hey, there's almost nudity in a Nintendo game! Boo! What, you don't want to see a couple dude schlongs in a Nintendo game? No, I don't want to see a couple of dude schlongs in a Nintendo game. What's the matter with you? Come on, it won't be that well defined or anything, and this game doesn't look like it has that many colors in it, so what's the problem? I just want to see dude slums in a Nintendo game, that's all. Why are you so obsessed with dude slums? Because I've been watching Beavis and Butthead, stupid. Okay, cool. Let's watch some Beavis and Butthead after this. Yeah. Alright, where are we going next? Find out next time! 